you're watching Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here at Stage One in Van Nuys, California, for the Jewel Stewart Project presents the Wolf Collection Art Exhibition and Fundraising Event, benefiting the Wolf Connection. So check us out here as we interview a lot of the guests here that attend. The Jewel Stewart Project presents the Wolf Collection Art Exhibition and Fundraising Event, benefiting the Wolf Connection on Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here with my man, Cameron Stewart. Now, Cameron, what brings you out here to this wonderful event? Uh, well, uh, this is actually my mom's event. My mother actually started this, and uh, I'm here to support her. I think it's amazing. And for the audience that is not too familiar with what's going on here, I mean, obviously, it's a Jewel Stewart's project, and it's your mom's event. Uh, what, what's going on here in this particular event? Oh, well, um, well, it's like kind of a dual event. It's a uh, they're promoting like also this, uh, it's like Wolf Sanctuary, you know, and actually like, you know, promoting them and trying to get them started and going along with their compound to kind of like, you know, support the wolves and everything. And also, my mom does paint wolves and is very passionate about them also, obviously. Do you know a little bit about this history on this one? Actually, yeah, like, well, I know a lot of them because she does them at my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I see them and this is my favorite one, actually, to be honest, because it's, she calls it the Bates. Because it's like almost like the Psycho Bates Motel. Because okay. it's like has a little motel sign and everything, but then you have like the looky loose in the bathroom, which I thought was actually kind of funny. It sounds weird but creepy, but like also, you know, kind of movie esque. You know, I don't know. I liked it. Now, this, I mean, obviously, this, this is involved with the Wolf Connection. Yes. And we were talking, uh, and you said that you, you had a, uh, you're very close with some wolves. Yes, and so, and, and your involvement with wolves itself. Yes, I am. I actually. Well, my mom has a couple, and like, I don't know, like, we interact with them and everything, and they're really sweet, and they're adorable, and I love them. And mine, well, the one that I fancy the most, her name is Lola, mm -hmm. and she is the sweetest baby, but she's so big, she's at least like, I think she's 130 pounds, Yeah. but she's like the most amazing thing ever. She's the sweetest girl, big baby. And, and you know, so you showed me a photo, yeah. and it's just awesome because you know we were talking about how the connection of how wolves and you know I lost a, a lost a dog not too long yeah, ago, and how right. how the connection of just the, the 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 creature in itself is just so has a human human uh, connection, a human heart connection, oh, no, totally. and to touch. And, and and you you had a personal experience with that yourself. And what is your experience? The misconception of wolves and what you've experienced. What is the misconception and what you experience? Okay, well. Well, I feel like a lot of the misconception, like even from like even like old stories, like and everything like that, like the werewolf and all this stuff, and like even Little Red Riding Hood, like doesn't even talk about anything scary, just a regular wolf. And at the same time, like wolves are normally not, they're not aggressive animals, really. You know, like they're more, they're more just like family-oriented packs. You know, like they kind of live on their own and do their own thing. And like, and yes, they are meat eaters, but also so are we. Yeah. You know, so. You know, like if you're in nature and also a cat's and you know, like you're not scared of a lion. Well, I guess you are scared of a lion, <laughs> but but they're not such like a yeah. a, a scary, you know, mythological Easter. beast, yeah. you know, like, you know, so. But then are also, obviously wolves are like really sweet, gentle animals when it comes down to it because they are very family oriented and they're well, like, well, I guess pack oriented, yeah. right? But that also deals with family. So it's, they are very sweet animals and they actually are very, loyal and compassionate and and will love you forever like yeah. they can't that's just in their nature yeah. and it really is and a lot of people don't understand that because of all the it's bad publicity or the movies yeah, or the yeah, movies are you know since yeah. the werewolf the wolf the wolf man and all exactly, that exactly yeah. exactly exactly and it's cool because you have such a great connection and obviously uh your your mother got involved with this uh and what do you know about the wolf connection itself have you got involved or gotten to know a little bit about the wolf the connection thing, a little bit like i i understand that they do work with inner city children and how to like you know kind of you know bring those two together you know because they're out they're both misunderstood people or things I guess right like or personalities I want to say yeah. you know they're missing you know so for them to get together and actually like you know feel each other and actually feel each other out is actually I think a really awesome thing and and I've, I haven't been up there yet but I do want to go up because it does look really awesome yeah. and looks very fun and like all the wolves seem really sweet and really nice and like they do look really yeah. cute and like fuzzy and 
I do love the cuddle. <laughs> no, that's cool because this is you. You got such a. I mean, you and your mother and the ones that I've met all here. Everyone's got this great loving personality, yeah. and you, you, you guys, you, you guys have such great big hearts. And obviously, your mom's, you know, beautiful paintings. And yeah. the, the the thing you could explain a little bit to the audience what your mom's actually doing with a lot of the proceeds that oh, she's yeah. doing the yeah, the this paintings. Thing to your right is like all the proceeds to the, all the paintings here are going to the charity. Are all to this, this wolf connection. This can wolf connection. Yeah, like yeah, it pretty much this she did it for them. Yeah. Because she is so passionate about them, like she she thinks that they should be, you know, there should be more no, like knowledge about them, and like more like people should know more about them, and like they're they're amazing animals, you know, they really are. So like you know, she loves them, and all this is going towards them because she's so passionate. And that's the thing. Everyone here so far is so passionate about the animal. From your stories to everyone else that we've interviewed, it makes me literally want to go, oh, yeah. want me go get a wolf, so to speak. Oh. But also, you know, I'm an animal lover, dog lover, and it, it, in some ways, it's the same. Like there's a parallel of just the fact that they are very in tune with oh. the with the the human spirit, so to oh, speak. Completely. Like you've had yours for how long? Um. Well, I remember my mom got her, f the one that I remember, the first one. Uh, when I was like, I think 15. Wow. Yeah, so I was young, but then like, at the same time, he is really smart. Like, they are actually brilliant animals. Like, like he actually felt like a little brother for a while because wow. he would always like steal my stuff. <laughs> and then like, I'd find it outside and then I'd get all mad. And then like, she'd be like, well, it's your fault. And I'm like, oh, all right. Like, I guess it is my fault. I don't know, whatever. But, but no, like they, they are, they're like, they feel more like a family member mm -hmm. when they actually are with you than like, like it's not like a pet, like a pet, yeah, it, like, it, because they are so knowledgeable and so passionate about everyone yeah. because they actually love, they do love their companions and they're everyone in their pack. They really do. Like everyone has their spot and it's important. And, and do, do you know the, the, the length of life that they have in compared to dogs. I know I had a dog that, you know, uh, her name is Scarlett. She just died recently. She lasted 17 years. Yeah. Do you know the, the wolf's lifespan? Do you know, uh, well, you've had one for a long time? Yeah, well, I know I know Jack is, the oldest one that we have is at least, I think, like 15 or 16 years old. And he's still doing pretty well, but I, I think they do live a little bit longer mm -hmm. because they are such like a, almost not primal, but like more like a, like a more, nature yeah. based I guess not so much captivity you know like they have more of a I don't I, I don't even know how to describe it and speaking of you got this painting right here oh, this I, one. This I mean because I know this is the Lola you want to talk a little bit about yeah, this is my Lola this is um, I do love my Lola and she's a she's so cute she is a big baby but at the same time she's a vicious beast like I can't I can't help it but or she can't help it either but she is adorable and if she doesn't know you, she gets kind of crazy, but like, I don't know, whenever I'm around, she usually turns this big baby and just rolls <laughs> up on her side and just starts, she does this thing called swimming. Like I, I rub her belly and she just starts swimming. Like That's she's really cute. She's adorable. I love her. So and this is a beautiful painting done by your by your mom as well. Yeah. And again, we were talking we were talking privately about how like Lola in my culture, uh, yeah. Filipino culture, means yeah. grandmother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lola and Lola means grandfather and grandmother. And then you got the the name just yeah. just you just just I don't know. Like that's the thing is sometimes they just come to me. Like it like it almost is like when I see them, they just that's what comes out. And like she. she I don't know. She's like a big inspiration for me because she's strong and everything. But then she's also so sweet, and I feel like, you know, like I don't know, like like you said, like a grandmother kind of thing. Like I know she is young, which is a baby, but it still is a strong, powerful, like womanly inspiration. You know, almost like my mom, which kind of like I love. And I think now that you say it, I think it's a great name for her because she's so pow You know, like she's. And that's the thing, Party. you know, I, everyone here is so, literally, from you down on, I mean, everyone that I've met is very loving, seriously, yeah. and, 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 and in a sincere way, and it, it almost represents a parallel of, like, the wolves, and it yeah. is a very big connection, and this show ultimately is about inspiring others. Um, what inspirational words can you give to someone out there, because I also know you have a uh, uh, production background as well as yeah. an actor. Yeah. I guess I, I he... People, he's a little, he's humble about this, but he also, you also in a, a, a cool movie that your mom also directed yeah, called K11, K11, and yeah. then you started as Sledgehammer? Sledgehammer, <laughs> yeah. I was kind of the uh, the big dorm enforcer or whatever, but but yeah, it was it was small, but it was fun. I had a great time doing it, and I, I'm always there to support my mom, obviously. 
and uh, it was it's a great project and I was actually I love to do it and it was it was fun to learn all about it and everything like even the like I had no idea that that's the only section in the whole world is in Los Angeles County like I never knew that like I, I actually when I first found out I figured it was you know like kind of bigger cities but I didn't know it was the only one in yeah. the whole world and I was like that's kind of crazy like I was like that's actually a really cool thing and I I thought it was a great thing that she did a whole movie about it because it's it is its own thing that no one knows about. And yeah. I was like, that's really cool, you know, just to kind of open up everyone's eyes about it and everything. Yeah, that, I mean, that was interesting. I, I learned about it because I had a, and we were talking, uh, yeah. Tiny Lister was, uh, was on yeah, my, who, 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 was, uh, who was on my radio yeah, show, Tiny's and he awesome. mentioned about the movie, and I, I wanted to check it out, so I checked it out, and then I noticed, <laughs> that's how, we, anyways, <laughs> it, it, it was cool, but you did a great job, and okay. everyone did a great job. Um, but, nervous, this, so yeah. but, you know, this <laughs> show ultimately is about inspiring others, and yes. obviously, everyone's been here, been inspired to get involved with the Jewel Stewart Project and the Wolf Connection. Um, for those that out there, what inspirational messages can you give to someone out there that either wants to get involved with the Wolf Connection or maybe wants to become an actor like yourself okay. or just follow their dreams in general? Okay. Um, well more with the Wolf Connection thing, I would, I would suggest going just on the website. If, if you want to check them out, definitely go on the website because it's a lot of information on the website. And uh, when, it come, when it comes to the, the entertainment stuff, it's like a lot of it's not being discouraged. Like you, you will get a lot of no's and a lot of like, okay, whatever's. But it's a lot of staying with it. You know, like you can't, it is an art and people like to, you know, be opinionated about art. So if you stay with it, usually, usually someone likes it. So it's, you know, people usually end up liking it, so you'll be good. Awesome. <laughs> you want to help promote your name? Any projects, websites, or anything like that? You got an audience right here, my man. Uh, not really, be honest. No, I just, I do my car thing and that's it. I kind of live my own life, you know, do my thing. But like, other than that, hey, so I'm here to support my mom. Cool. So I hope she's great. So we, again, bottom of the screen, wolfconnection.org. Check out uh, Jewel Stewart's uh, work. Again, beautiful art like this. Um, again, it's out there. All the proceeds are, a lot of the proceeds are going to the Wolf Connection. It's great to see you. Great to even, great to, you know, bond with you, my man. Again, God bless you, buddy. Again, oh, yeah. this is Tyrone Tan with my man. Cam Stu, coming at you. And you're watching StarRoseEntertainment.tv. <laughs> So check out more episodes as we interview a lot more guests here to the TAN. The Jewel Stewart Project presents the Wolf Collection Art Exhibition and Fundraising Event benefiting the Wolf Connection on StarWorldsEntertainment.tv.